This time, our project's inspiration comes from the artist Wayne Tebow. He was something called a pop artist. Pop art is art that shows imagery or pictures from popular culture. So things that you see all around you every day, from advertisements to TV shows to comic books, food, anything like that can be considered or thought of as pop art. And Wayne Tebow was a master at making his paintings look hyper realistic or really, really realistic. Even though he was painting simple things like makeup and ties and food, he made all of his paintings look amazingly realistic by using something called implied form. Even though these are all paintings flat, Wayne Tebow made these desserts look 3D. He used implied form. We're gonna try to do the same thing as Wayne Tebow. We are going to create a dessert of our choice and make it look 3D by using special lines. Today, you will need a small square of white paper, a pencil to draw your dessert, and a Sharpie to outline it. While you watch this part of the video, keep a whiteboard and marker with you so that you can draw and practice with me as I show you how to draw three different desserts. But first, I have a question for you. Does number one or number two look more 3D? In my opinion, number one looks more 3D because of the curved lines and the lines inside the cupcake holder, as well as the curved lines in the frosting. Those lines trick your eye into thinking that cupcake is 3D. If you just use straight lines like number two, it's not going to work out so well. It's not going to look 3D, it's going to look flat. So then, now that we know that, let's draw a cupcake together. Step one is to draw a smile. Make sure your smile line is nice and curved. After that, draw a shorter smile underneath with space in between. Then draw two lines that connect both smiles to create the cupcake holder. After that, we need to add some more lines inside of the cupcake holder. One in the middle goes straight up and down. Two lines on either side are at an angle. So it looks like it's fanning out. Step five is to add the frosting on top. There are two different ways to do this. Way number one, draw a cloud at the top of your cupcake holder and then a rainbow at the very top. Then you can add any other decorations that you would like to your cupcake. Here's another way to do frosting. Draw three long bumps on one side of your cupcake. Then on top, put a little shark fin and complete the frosting by adding curved lines on the other side. Let's move on to the pie. Which one looks 3D, number one or number two? To me, number two definitely looks more 3D than number one because number one is just a flat old triangle. With number two, there is a rectangle with a triangle on top, and that makes it look like a triangular prism, which is a form that is the form of a pie or a piece of cake. So to draw a slice of very realistic 3D looking pie or cake, draw a rectangle, and then on top, draw a line going out at an angle, and then another line that connects back to the rectangle. 
Let's watch steps one and two again. Rectangle, two lines on top. There are like a million different things you can add to your triangular prism to make it look more like a pie. You can add a crust, you can add um, a little swirl of whipped cream on top, you can add chocolate chips inside. I mean, make it delicious, guys. Let's move on to ice cream cones. Which one looks 3D, number one or two? Number two looks more 3D to me because in number one, again, it's just a bunch of straight lines, no nice curved lines. That's what we need to make a drawing look like a cone, which is another form. So step one is to start with a curved smile and then two straight lines that come down to a point. That makes the cone. And next we need to add the cone's waffle texture. So we are going to go in one direction with some curved lines. And then we are going to crisscross those lines in a different direction. So my first lines went one way. My second set of lines need to be curved and go the opposite direction to create the crisscross. Now it's really starting to look like a 3D cone, isn't it? We just need to add the ice cream. There are two ways to add ice cream, a lot like the cupcake. One is to add a cloud on top and a rainbow to create a scoop of frozen ice cream. Remember, you can, you can add any toppings you want to these desserts. Be very creative, make it look so yummy and delicious. Another way to add the ice cream is just like the frosting on the cupcake. So drawing three bumps on the left, adding a shark fin on top, and then three bumps on the right. I added Reese's cups and sprinkles to that one. Mm, looks so good. Let's see how I draw these desserts one more time. Now that we have practiced drawing these three desserts, let's do it for real. Take the white square of paper and write your name and code on the back. As usual, you can add decoration before you flip it if you want. And then starting with the pencil, draw whichever dessert spoke to you the most. Whichever dessert you thought looked the most delicious is the one I want you to draw. When your pencil drawing is completed, it is time to take a black Sharpie marker and outline or trace your dessert. Make sure that you do the entire dessert, including all the toppings. Okay, I'm gonna magically make all of these desserts outlined. There we go. Now we have a nice little tiny coloring book page for us to slide into a Ziploc baggie. I'll tell you why we're doing that next time. The project ain't over guys, we've got more to do.